Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to compare Miro with FigJam. Both of these platforms are incredibly popular in the world of collaborative online whiteboarding, but they cater to slightly different needs and audiences. In this video, I'll compare their features, pricing, user interface, support, and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform is the right choice for you, no matter if you're a designer, project manager, or part of a remote team. This comparison will help you make an informed decision. So let's dive in. First off, let's talk about Miro. Miro is a versatile online whiteboarding platform designed for teams to collaborate in real time. It's widely used for brainstorming, project planning, user story mapping, and even agile workflows. Miro's strength lies in its flexibility. It's not just a whiteboard, but a full fledged collaboration tool with integrations for Slack, Zoom, Trello and more. It's ideal for larger teams, enterprises and anyone who needs a robust tool for complex projects. Miro's target audience includes designers, product managers and remote teams looking for a comprehensive solution. On the other hand, FigJam is a newer player in the game, created by the team behind Figma, the popular design tool. FigJam is a lightweight, intuitive whiteboarding tool specifically designed for designers and creative teams. It's perfect for brainstorming, wireframing and collaborative design sessions. FigJam's simplicity and seamless integration with Figma make it a favourite among designers who want to quickly sketch ideas and share them with their team. While it may not have the extensive feature set of Miro, FigJam excels in its ease of use and focus on design-centric workflows. Now, let's compare the user interfaces of Miro and FigJam. Miro's interface is highly customizable and packed with features, which can be both a strength and a weakness. The platform offers a wide range of templates, widgets and tools, making it incredibly powerful for complex projects. However, this can also make the interface feel overwhelming for new users. Navigating Miro requires a bit of practice, but once you learn it, it's super easy to use. The design is clean and professional, with a focus on functionality over aesthetics. In contrast, FigJam's interface is minimalist and intuitive, reflecting its design focus roots. The platform is super simple to use, even if you're a beginner. Its clear design and drag and drop feature make it easy to learn. FigJam's design is playful and visually appealing, with fun elements like emojis and stickers that make collaboration feel more engaging. While it may lack some of the advanced features of Miro, FigJam's simplicity is a big win for teams that prioritize speed and ease of use. Next, let's dive into the core features of both platforms. Miro is packed with features that make it a powerful collaboration tool. One key feature is its real-time editing capability, which lets multiple users work on the same board at the same time. This feature is super useful for teams that need to brainstorm or plan together, no matter where they are. Another great aspect is Miro's extensive library of templates. If you need to create a mind map or Kanban board or something else entirely, there's a template for almost every use case. Plus, Miro can integrate with other tools. It works seamlessly with platforms like Slack, Microsoft Teams, and Google Drive. This makes it easy for your team to work together in one place without jumping between apps. That said, Miro's wide range of features can feel a bit overwhelming overwhelming. Some users might find it tricky to navigate all the options, especially when they're just getting started. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We develop top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Big Jam, on the other hand, is all about simplicity and ease of use. One of its core features is real-time collaboration. This allows multiple users to work together on a board at the same time, just like in Miro. However, Fig Jam takes it a step further with its follow feature, which automatically scrolls to where your teammates are working so you can stay in sync. In terms of templates and customization, Fig Jam is more limited compared to Miro, but for designers and creatives, this may not be an issue as they often prefer starting from scratch and don't need many pre-made options. Another key feature of FigJam is its integration with Figma. This makes it easy for designers to quickly transfer their ideas from FigJam to Figma for further refinement. It also allows for seamless collaboration with other team members who may be using Figma. FigJam also has sticky notes which can be used for brainstorming, idea generation and organizing thoughts. This feature is not available in Miro. Plus, the drawing tools and shape recognition in FigJam make it a great tool for wireframing and sketching out design ideas. However, for more detailed or complex projects, Miro may have 
have an edge with its larger library of features. Price is a crucial factor to consider when choosing between Miro and FigJam. Let's take a look at how they compare in terms of pricing. Miro has five pricing plans to fit different team sizes and needs. The free plan lets you have up to three editable boards and as many team members as you want. It's a good option for individuals or small teams just starting out, but keep in mind it has some limits, like no private boards or advanced templates. The starter plan costs $8 per user per month when billed annually. It gives you unlimited boards to edit, private boards, video calls, and version history. Perfect for small teams who need more tools to work together. The business plan is $16 per user per month billed yearly and comes with extra features like unlimited secure workspaces, custom integrations, and advanced reporting. It's great for bigger teams with more complicated projects and needs. The enterprise plan has custom pricing and is made for organizations that need strong security and compliance. It comes with features like single sign-on or SSO, data encryption, and priority support. It's perfect for big companies that need the highest level of security and room to grow. Finally, the Enterprise Guard plan is designed for large enterprises with strict compliance requirements. It includes all the features of the Enterprise plan, along with additional security measures like data loss prevention, or DLP, and incident response support. Big Jam has five pricing options. The free plan lets you create up to three files and invite as many people as you want to collaborate. It's great for small teams or anyone who needs a simple tool to quickly brainstorm ideas. The professional plan is $5 per user each month if you pay yearly. It comes with extras like unlimited FigJam files, better tools for working together, and access to Figma's growing template library. It's a great choice for design teams who want to use FigJam easily in their work. The organization plan costs $5 per user each month, billed once a year. It includes extra features like managing content in one place, custom color options, and advanced admin tools. It's a great choice for mid-sized teams looking for a good mix of price and features. The enterprise plan has custom pricing and comes with extra security, role-based access, and private workspaces. It's perfect for big companies that need strong security and better ways to work together. Lastly, Figma Slides. It's super easy to design and work together on presentations due to its cool editing tools and built-in interactive features. Now, let's talk about customer support. Miro offers a comprehensive support system, including a help center, community forum, and email support. Paid plans also include live chat support. Enterprise customers have access to a dedicated success manager. Miro support is generally responsive, but some users have reported delays during peak times. The platform also offers a wide range of tutorials and webinars to help users get the most out of the tool. FigJam support is more limited, but still effective. It offers a help center, email support, and a community forum. However, live chat and phone support are not available, which may be a drawback for users who need immediate assistance. FigJam support is best suited for smaller teams or individuals who can troubleshoot issues on their own. While it may not be as robust as Miro's support system, Big Jam simplicity means that users are less likely to encounter complex issues in the first place. So, which one should you choose? If you're part of a large team or organization that needs a powerful, feature-rich collaboration tool with extensive integrations, Miro is the better choice. It's ideal for complex projects and workflows, and its scalability makes it a great option for enterprises. On the other hand, if you're a designer or part of a small creative team, looking for a simple, intuitive tool that integrates seamlessly with Figma, FigJam is the way to go. It's perfect for quick brainstorming sessions and design-focused collaboration. And that's it for today's comparison between Miro and FigJam. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more SAAS videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.